For centuries, the image of primitive man has been etched in our minds. A towering figure, brandishing crude weapons, locked in a battle of survival against the giants of the prehistoric world. This image often relegated women to the background, mere shadows tending fires and caring for children. But the relentless march of scientific discovery has begun to illuminate the past with startling clarity, revealing a far more nuanced and intriguing picture. Recent findings whisper of a different story, one where women were not passive bystanders but active architects of early human societies. Join us now as we delve into the world of primitive women, the unsung heroes whose contributions shape the course of human history. Deep within the earth, long buried beneath layers of time and sediment, lie the secrets of our ancestors. These secrets, hidden for millennia, are now being brought to light by the dedicated efforts of archaeologists and researchers who tirelessly work to uncover the past. For years, archaeologists have painstakingly unearthed these remnants of the past, piecing together the story of early humans. Each artifact, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, adds a new piece to the complex puzzle of our history, revealing the lives and cultures of those who came before us. And what these silent witnesses reveal is a profound departure from the traditional narrative. The conventional stories we have been told are being challenged and rewritten as new evidence comes to light, offering a more nuanced and inclusive understanding of our ancestors. From the frozen wastelands of Siberia to the sun-drenched plains of Africa, excavations are yielding a wealth of evidence pointing to the multifaceted roles women played in primitive societies. These discoveries are not confined to one region, but span across continents, highlighting the universal contributions of women in early human history. We see it in the delicate yet durable bone needles, crafted with precision for sewing hides and creating garments, essential for survival in harsh climates. These tools, often overlooked, speak volumes about the ingenuity and skill of the women who used them. We see it in the grinding stones worn smooth by countless hours of transforming grains and nuts into sustenance. These stones are a testament to the labor and dedication required to provide food for their communities, showcasing the vital role women played in ensuring the survival of their people. And increasingly, we see it in the very tools once thought to be the exclusive domain of men. The presence of these tools in contexts associated with women challenges long-held assumptions and opens up new avenues of understanding about gender roles in ancient societies. The discovery of female skeletons buried alongside hunting implements, their bones bearing the telltale marks of a life spent tracking and bringing down game, shatters the long-held assumption that hunting was solely a male pursuit. These findings suggest that women were equally involved in the hunt, contributing to the community's food supply and survival. These were not isolated incidents, but rather echoes of a universal truth. Women were not confined to the domestic sphere, but were active participants in the struggle for survival. Their contributions were diverse and essential, shaping the course of human history in ways that are only now being fully recognized and appreciated. High in the Andes Mountains of Peru, where the air is thin and the landscape rugged in a cave sheltered from the biting winds and the harsh elements, archaeologists unearthed a discovery that sent shockwaves through the scientific community, challenging long-held beliefs about gender roles in ancient societies. It was the burial site of a young woman laid to rest over 9,000 years ago, her bones telling a story of strength and skill. But it was the objects interred with her that challenged our very understanding of the past, revealing a narrative of female hunters. Surrounding her were an array of hunting tools, projectile points crafted from obsidian and chert, designed to bring down large game. Tools that spoke of a life spent in pursuit of prey. Scrapers and knives, their edges still sharp after millennia, used for processing hides and meat, indicating her role in the community was vital and respected. This was no casual hunter, but a skilled provider, an individual whose prowess in tracking and hunting was likely unmatched, a testament to the capabilities of women in ancient times. And she was not alone. Evidence suggests that women across various ancient cultures took on similar roles. Across the globe, similar discoveries are rewriting the narrative of our shared past, 
showing that the division of labor was more fluid than previously thought. In North America, the remains of women buried with hunting tools dating back almost 10,000 years paint a picture of a continent where hunting was not a gendered activity but a shared responsibility integral to survival. These women, these huntresses, were not exceptions to the rule but rather testaments to the adaptability and resilience of early humans, where survival depended on the contributions of every member of the group regardless of gender. Their stories, long buried, are now coming to light, reshaping our understanding of human history. Chapter 3. The image of a lone inventor toiling away in isolation is a powerful one. But the reality of innovation is often far more collaborative, a tapestry woven from the threads of countless individuals, each contributing their unique skills and knowledge. And in the story of early human development, women were not merely weavers, but master craftspeople, their innovations shaping the very fabric of society. Consider the development of pottery, a technological leap that revolutionized food storage and preparation. Across cultures and continents, the earliest evidence of pottery production points to women as the driving force behind this innovation. Their nimble fingers molded clay, into vessels of remarkable beauty and durability, transforming the way our ancestors lived and interacted with their environment. And it wasn't just pottery. From the intricate techniques of weaving, transforming plant fibers into baskets, clothing and shelter, to the development of sophisticated cooking methods that unlocked the nutritional potential of wild plants, women were at the forefront of technological advancement. These innovations, often overlooked or dismissed as simple domestic tasks, were in fact the building blocks of civilization, laying the foundation for the complex societies that would follow. Chapter 4 In the relentless cycle of life and death that governed the existence of our ancestors, knowledge was the most precious commodity. It was the invisible thread that wove together the fabric of their daily lives, guiding them through the myriad challenges they faced. It was the difference between survival and starvation, a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. Between a thriving community and one teetering on the brink of extinction, knowledge was the key to resilience. And in these early societies, women were not just the keepers of the hearth, the warm center of the home, but the keepers of knowledge, the silent teachers who passed on the wisdom of the ages, the guardians of the wisdom that ensured the continuation of their lineage. Picture a young mother, her infant nestled close, whispering the secrets of the earth, patiently demonstrating the art of foraging for edible plants, teaching the delicate balance between nature and sustenance, distinguishing between nourishment and poison, a skill that could mean the difference between life and death. Imagine a grandmother, her face etched with the stories of generations past, her eyes a window to the ancient world, sharing the secrets of herbal remedies, the ancient art of healing, passed down through centuries of trial and error. This transmission of knowledge from one generation to the next was the lifeblood of early human society. Women, through their roles as caregivers, nurturers, and protectors, women through their roles as caregivers, the silent pillars of their communities, teachers and storytellers, the weavers of tales that carried the essence of their culture, ensured that the hard-won wisdom of their ancestors would not be lost to the winds of time. They were the living libraries of their communities. They were the living libraries of their communities. Their minds a repository of knowledge that encompassed everything from the intricacies of the natural world. Their minds a repository of knowledge that encompassed everything from the intricacies of the natural world, the secrets of the plants and animals, to the subtleties of social customs, the unspoken rules that held their societies together. It was this legacy of knowledge, a precious gift nurtured and passed down through generations of women, that laid the foundation for the development of agriculture, medicine. That laid the foundation for the development of agriculture, medicine, and ultimately, the complex tapestry of human culture, and ultimately the complex tapestry of human culture, a rich and diverse heritage that continues to shape our world today. As we unearth more evidence of our distant past, the contributions of women in shaping the course of human history become increasingly undeniable. 
They were not merely passive players in the drama of human evolution, but active participants, their ingenuity, resilience and unwavering strength shaping the very fabric of early societies. The image of the solitary male hunter, while enduring, no longer encapsulates the full story of our origins. Instead, we see a more nuanced and ultimately more inspiring picture emerge, one of partnership, of shared responsibility and of women at the forefront of innovation and knowledge. This is the legacy we must now embrace, a legacy that challenges our preconceived notions and forces us to reevaluate the very foundations of human history.